Hello and welcome to another video on Field Complete. In this video, we'll cover projects and jobs. Um, so the way the Field Complete is set up is you have projects, and inside one project you have multiple jobs, and you can assign it to your 1099s, your W2s, uh, sub subcontract some of these jobs, etc. Uh, so to navigate to projects, you, you go on the left menu and click projects. Um, your list of projects shows up here. You have some filters here if you'd like to filter them by a project number, zip code, customer, etc. Um, so let's say I want to type in, um, like look it up by a customer, right? Uh, so these are all my jobs that I've done for SMS Assist. Um, let's uh, find one with some scope in it. So this one's perfect. Um, uh, if you click on the project itself, a short little preview shows up with the amount of jobs, the service location, the customer, and the project assignee, uh, and the NT, if you want to just quickly see if this is the right project. If this is the right project, you click on it, uh, the actual project appears. Um, the project has basically the scope with all the jobs in it and the statuses to them. Uh, it has a budget tab uh, where your invoices and payments would go if there are any. Um, it has the attachments tab and you can preview the attachment. Uh, so this was a PDF attached, a change order probably from the email attached by one of the dispatchers. You have your messenger and your history. Um, the messenger at the project level, there's no messages here, but this is where you would message with the customer who's paying for the job. You also have service location messenger that's inside each job. That's usually to figure out scheduling. And that's also inside jobs is where a uh, technician is added also into the job or the contractor. So usually at the project level, you communicate everything that has to do with billing. At the job level, you coordinate everything that has to do with schedule. Um, you can also uh, request approval or like send out an estimate uh, to your customer uh, based on the scope. Um, so if we back, if we go back into the scope, um, let's uh, look at some of these jobs here. Um, you can expand out to see the scope if there was anything entered. You can also like preview images. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have some before after images. Uh, you can also click into the job to open the job full screen uh, to work with this job. Uh, when you open this job, you also see the technician, date and time, branch, job type, um, the job status and internal approval, um, and then some of the line items. You can also add more line items in here. These are pre-populated from your price book, which are covered in a different video. You can also add a custom line item in here uh, if uh, something is not in the price book. Um, you can also click show images here and manage the images if they were attached Images can be attached per line item or to the job as a whole. You can basically drag and drop them um, here, and you can also preview the images uh, that were attached by the technician in the field. Um, the tasks uh, are basically tasks that need to be completed on the job. This one has collect signature, clean up. This is your infield worker from the mobile app would have to check these off in order to check out from this job. Um, images that, that were attached are also in here. Um, you, you can basically preview the, them here, see what was done uh, at the job, and, you, and the messenger lastly is with the technician or with the office SME. You can also message your tenant or uh, the homeowner from here as well. So that quickly uh, covers uh, basically the jobs, the scope, the projects, and how that all coordinates together. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to our support via phone, email, or chat. Thank you.